Well, it's been a while, but we're back in a very empty camper. It's the first time it's been empty in quite some time. A couple things I want to do today. It's December 27th, 2023. Uh, this paneling has been hanging down. I just got to route this off. It's messy. And I want to cut an access hole in the roof. That's going to be very messy. And I was originally planning on using square water jugs, but I like these tall ones. Guess what? They just don't quite fit. So I can fit at least four, maybe five. Five would be like 35 gallons. But I probably have four and then uh, one for wastewater from the sink, which will be over here. Uh, so this I have to move, but I've cocked it all in place. So it's probably going to be a little bit of a shitty mess. Anyway, we'll get to that one. So I do not have the footage from me painting my camper. Uh, the one thing I did was I carefully taped it all off with dollar store tape and I had a ton of bleeding. So I ended up coming back with the light color and actually over painting. Uh, so now I could just re, uh, now I can just redo the trim nice and straight. It's really been bugging me. It looks really sloppy right now, but that is on purpose, temporarily. So I did buy some real gator tape. So I might tape it off and redo that or just cut it by hand. The dark color came out a lot more chocolatey than it looked on the sample. I was really going to go light gray and dark charcoal for the trim. I kind of wish I still did. But it is what it is. I still got to paint the lower trim down there. Painting is just painting. So for my access hatch, I think I'm going to actually cut the center rib out right here, fill it in. So it'll be slightly over 16 inches depth. Probably gonna make this 22 long. There's gonna be a little bit of a trim going on the inside, so it'll reduce that depth. That should be big enough as an escape hatch and for ventilation. And also my chimney is going to be over here. So I'll easily be able to pop up and access that. And then you can get up and have a look at the roof. And you know, an escape hatch is... Oh, for those new to the channel, I did all the interior insulation and it's supposed to be foil out. So I was looking at all the green from the inside of the camper and then I came up and started the roof and obviously I did this front section first. Uh, this insulation should have been flipped over according to the manufacturer's directions. So if you're wondering why it's different, it's because I was just doing the same thing I had been doing, but the parameters had changed. My mindset did not. So I debated coming out six inches or so, leaving this a bit more intact, but I think if I cut it and build this up, it'll add a lot more strength to the roof right here instead of having it floating out. We just have one floating rib. And then once it's skinned on both sides, it should be strong enough. I do have some mild concerns with the structure. So I only cut out the center rib. I debated cutting out two sets, making it more of a square shape. But I think leaving them intact is a smarter play. So I'm gonna get this marked out. I'm gonna to have to scribe these pieces in a curve top and bottom. More on the bottom, I can get away with a bit less on the top. And uh, that's what's happening next. So there's a lot of projects I can do. I do have to store quite a bit of stuff in here right now. Some window cleaning equipment and some other wood and projects for this and some other stuff that always ends up being in here. But I'm trying to get this messy stuff done today, routing the panel, and that is gonna be quite messy. But I do have a lot of stuff. Uh, I wanna frame and insulate my ice box. There's the vent hole for it. I can make the vent for it once that's done. Uh, frame in my kitchen and my sink. 
where my wood, where my wood stove is going to go. That can be moved. These hatch covers could actually be made. My bench seating area, my closet. Quite a bit of stuff to do. So I guess we better get started. Less the interior trim and paneling. That should. See if I can just cut. Did not have a lot of success cutting this stuff very cleanly in the past. I did cut it on the table saw. So that's loose, but it's still stapled and glued onto that paneling. So I'm going to get a hammer and I'm going to knock that out of there. And I'm going to fill in the ends there and there. And then we can just route all this junk out of here. And then vacuum up for like 10 minutes. Okay, I've just got a piece of 3 8 inch thick MDF. Use a lot of this for paneling. 
<clears throat> uh, they make good template jigs because they're not too thick. They're thick enough where you have good bearing contact. It's thin enough to easy to shape. So we're going to have to uh, match the curve on the bottom and the top, and then the ends are going to be angled because of the way the rafters are sitting. Doot, doot, doot. And I'm going to find that angle with this Stanley number 18 uh, bevel T-square, or T-bevel, that I got for 25 cents uh, in 1997, I think. Probably the best deal I've ever got on a tool. So we're going to go find the angle and make a little template because I want it to fit quite well so it can accept the uh, interior paneling and the exterior roof sheathing. And we're going to... Representation. Be a little stronger over here. Okay. Well, that should work. Okay, so I have my little scrap of MDF. Uh, you can't see it. Well, I guess I show it. on the back, I just taped two little half inch thick pieces. So it's basically just. keep it more or less even. So we're going to scribe the bottom and fit it and then I can near the front where this rib section is I can just trace that. And we're going to start here. Uh, then I can slap it right in here trace the top and we'll fit it in then this panel we will have something to land on get this routed out and yeah that's it. well it's taken a long time token it's taken quite a long time Finally got that in. I'm going to have to do a tiny little bit of belt sanding. I think before I put the top sheathing on, but it should be good enough. There's a ton of PL in there. I didn't film it, there was too much going on. But uh, yeah, there's tons of PL. It's screwed in, got three inch screws going into the long uh, rafters, ribs, whatever. Uh, these are screwed right into the plywood and then these ones are just toe screwed into the ends here. And once I go route this hole out, uh, then I can staple the paneling. By the time it's sandwiched, it should be pretty strong. Hopefully, it's too late now. Well, we've achieved whole.
we've achieved a giant mass in and out. 